Approximately 8 billion people are currently living in the world today. Scientists estimate that throughout the entire history of humanity, around 100 billion people have lived before us. It is only in recent years that science has advanced to the point where it can relatively accurately determine at what age the human body begins to age, what its biological age is, or even when it will die. We know when aging ends, when the organism dies. But when does it begin? If you ask different people, regardless of whether they are aging experts or just ordinary individuals, usually six different answers are given. Some say that aging begins during fertilization, which is minus 0.75 years. Some say that it starts at birth, which is zero years. Some say that aging begins during the period of the lowest mortality rate in humans, which is at nine years. Some say that aging begins around puberty, which is 12 to 13 years in humans. Some say that aging begins when human development stops. Approximately around 20 years. And finally, some believe that aging begins when visual signs associated with aging become apparent. For example, the formation of wrinkles or the appearance of gray hair. Paradoxically, among scientists, there is no single dominant concept of aging. This indicates the diverse perception of the aging process by individuals. If there were a specific essence of aging, it would be possible to clearly define the beginning of this process. However, since the starting point is not established, it turns out that each person understands aging in their own way. Scientists attempted to experimentally verify when aging begins. How can this be tested? To answer this question, it is necessary to examine the essence of aging, specifically by studying the age dynamics of key processes. One of the key aspects of aging is the accumulation of damage or mutations. Throughout life, active metabolism leads to the formation of damage that gradually accumulates. At the beginning of life, there are usually few mutations, but their quantity increases over time. Epigenetic changes associated with them include cytosine methylation, one of the four nucleotides. In two words, the combination of any three out of the four nucleotides, adenine, guanine, thymine, cytosine, forms one amino acid. There can be a total of four to the power of three combinations, which is 64 variations of amino acids out of which 20 are called essential for humans and participate in encoding various proteins. Nucleotides align into two strands that twist in opposite directions, forming a double helix. Each turn of the helix consists of 10 base pairs. In total, one human DNA molecule contains 3 billion base pairs. In this form, the genetic material of all living organisms on planet Earth is stored. Epigenetic clocks also known as DNA methylation clocks or biological marker, allow for the quantitative determination of the aging process. The fewer methylated cytosine molecules in the genome, the younger the organism is. By comparing the methylation of cytosine at different stages of human development, from conception to advanced old age, it can be observed that cytosine methylation is minimal or nearly absent at around three weeks of fetal age. From this point onwards, the human body begins to age. In other words, a person starts to age while still in the womb, at approximately three weeks of age. Why three weeks? What happens during the first three weeks after conception? During conception, the fetus receives the maternal and paternal genomes along with the mutations that the parents have accumulated throughout their lives. Initially, on average, the fetus acquires about 11 to 12 mutations evenly divided between both parents. However, during the first three weeks of life, some of these mutations are reset. Currently, science does not yet know how the organism selects which mutations should be removed and which ones should remain. On average, a new organism begins life with seven mutations. 